I don't want to make this a rant or whatever, but I just don't understand why, as a Malaysian or as Malaysian brands, they are, they are medium to dark skin tone Malaysians in Malaysia and they are also internationals. Okay, fine. Forget the internationals. But what about the Malaysians? You know, what are they supposed to do? And so they end up going to Sephora like me. My money was going, like every time I go, to, I go to Sephora and it's like, oh my gosh. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a, a different kind of thing, you know. Today I have Nita Cosmetics here. This is not sponsored. It's just me who purchased this with my money. So let me just clear that before we get into this. If anybody, <laughs> Nita Cosmetics or any brand wants to collaborate with me, you know, you can send me a message, hit me up on my email. I saw the brand when? Maybe like a year ago, something like that. Um, and the reason that it caught my attention is because they cater to dark skin tones. In Mal it's a Malaysian brand. So, okay, babe, you know what? Let's backtrack a bit here. If you live in Malaysia or you have lived in Malaysia, would you would know <laughs> the struggle of finding makeup if you are a medium to dark skin person. Most of the brands here cater to fair to tan people. <laughs> I don't want to make this a rant or whatever, but I just don't understand why, as a Malaysian or as Malaysian brands, they are, they are medium to dark skin tone Malaysians in Malaysia and they are also internationals. Okay, fine. Forget the internationals. But what about the Malaysians? You know, what are they supposed to do? And so they end up going to Sephora like me. My money was going, like every time I go, to, I go to Sephora and it's like, oh my gosh, our money goes. But they work, they work. If you're like me, you want to, you know, kind of stay on a budget, but then get all these products. Always go when they have a sale. Long story short, the reason this brand jumped out to me so much is because it's such a struggle to find <laughs> companies, local companies for that matter, who cater to medium to dark skin. I think she's the first one like the owner or the brand i think they're the first brand to do this correct me if i'm wrong just let me know in the comments nicely if she's not and yeah just let me know which other brand has done this before them or which other brand has also started doing that because it's really great to see like a change is coming and i'm here for it 100 percent here for it i got this from iycc mall and it was 49 ringgit and the reason i got it is because it has five it's too bright so the reason I got it is because it has five lipsticks in one, 49 ringgit. That was like a major steal. And because I was trying out the brand, I didn't want to only buy the big size. They have regular size, of course. This is really tiny, <laughs> extremely tiny. When I take it out of the pack, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Before I go, I have a tutorial coming up. If it's not already up, <laughs> there's a tutorial on my channel for this hair. It does look, you realize that one side looks different from the other side. That's because it is. They're two different products, which I'm trying out. So if I'm looking a bit cray cray, that's why. Or like if I'm looking a bit inconsistent, is that even a description? I don't know. But long story short, if you want to know how I got my hair like this, check my channel out. I'm going to link it in the description box as well. But yeah, guys, let me not talk too much. I'm sure I've already talked a lot. <laughs> so let's just get into the lip application and see what we're working with. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share comment and subscribe if you haven't already it says limited edition ballet kampung bunko series basically what that means ballet, ballet kampung is ballet kampung something like that and i hope i'm pronouncing it right but it is kampung means village so usually malaysians they always usually go back to their villages or their hometowns on the weekends especially so this is bunko series which means takeaway bunkos means takeaway so it's like something that's easy my assumption based on the malay i can understand is that this is something easy to take you can go back go anywhere with it basically the size shows that chakwaitia on this side nita cosmetics here ballet kampon da, 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 here i don't remember what it said <laughs> but it's here this is not a tutorial this is a mini review uh, first impressions try on test off these mini matte liquid lipsticks okay so when you take it out you have to be careful because it can just all fall out but so like this ah, yep <laughs> this is the size very very tiny extremely tiny it's very nice to see a local brand use all these elements of malaysian culture and identity you know for their branding so this is the first one i'm trying it's tay ice 
I usually see that when Malaysians use lipsticks, they don't line their lips. So I'm just going to try that first. If I see it's really not working, then I'm going to line my lips as usual. If you see me looking down, it's because my mirror is here, as always. So. First impressions is, I know that it looks ridiculous like right now, so I'm going to line my lips with my brown lip pencil and then line my lips. Because it's dry, it may not blend so easily. It looks nice. Let me reduce, I think it's too bright on the camera, so let me reduce so that you can see properly. I'm putting on another coat, just a very slight one. When I saw it without the liner, I was like, um, <laughs> not really the best. But then once I put the liner on, let me zoom in for you. I'm going to try and put gloss. This is Victoria's Secret gloss. Again, this is called Tay Ice, which is tea with milk and ice, I believe. So... I approve this one. Let's move on to the next shade. The next shade is Sago. Sago is a pudding. It's like a dessert. Personally, I don't like it, but my sister really likes it though. Again, trying without a lip pencil first. Obviously, without a lip pencil, ain't the best. What do you guys think about this one? Again, this shade is Sago. <laughs> Again, I'm about to put lip gloss over it. I know it's like a bit contradictory because it's like, why are you buying a matte lipstick if you're, you're going to put gloss over it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, but yeah. This actually works, so I'm quite impressed. Let me come closer. <laughs> this is nice. This next shade is called Jambu Eyes. I haven't used these before. This is my first time. <laughs> Again, the brown pencil to the rescue. I like this too. All the shades are actually wearable. So yeah, what do you guys think about this shade? Again, this one is Jumbo, Jumbo Eyes. <laughs> are we feeling this? Is this a yes, is it a no? Let me know down below. Going in with my lip gloss again. I like it. I like it, I like it getting you guys up close and personal in my space also you can appreciate the look or the color properly <laughs> tell me in the comments do you prefer the lipsticks matte or glossy always line your lips even if it's not about the color or anything like that it does prevent your lipstick from bleeding because if you don't use a lip liner it's going to go outside your lips as you go through the day or as you eat or as you talk stuff like that so it's always best to line your lips on to the next shade ice kachang ice kachang is is a dessert let me you know what i'll wear it and then i'll talk about it all right oh uh, it's getting pink up if you don't line your lips and your lipstick doesn't look good on you line them because that will make a huge difference I wonder how long these tiny things are going to last. I don't know. This one doesn't look so bad without a liner. If I do say so myself. This is it with just the liner and the matte lipstick. So what do you guys think about this one? Okay, time for gloss. What do you guys think? Mm. 
And then the last one, Sarsi. Ooh, I like this. Mm -hmm. Liner time. Sarsi is a drink. It's yeah, basically, basically a drink. Mm -hmm. I was like very skeptical to be honest about <laughs> these shades and wondering you know how how realistic me purchasing this was but so my final thoughts on the lipstick application or the you know the lipsticks I like the size it's convenient if you don't want to carry a big size lipstick or liquid lipstick around it's good but on the other hand because of the size it's gonna finish really soon it's like it's too tiny it's very very small but for 49 ringgit that means like one is like 10 ringgit you get what you pay for basically i did swatch them on my hands and i was like oh i'm not really sure if it's gonna work for me but i'm glad that i did buy them in the end and i'm trying them and they actually do work so as you can see if you don't try you're never gonna know so i want my content to be helpful that's really what i want so if you are medium to dark skin tone in malaysia and you've been looking for liquid lipsticks you know this is a good video for you even if you're not my complexion you, i'm sure you can still take something from this video <laughs> now if you've been looking for a malaysian brand that you want to try i i could be your go-to medium to dark skin tone beauty blogger kind of person so if you want to know what products to get if you're like me or a bit lighter than me or darker than me you know you can ask me on instagram you can check out my posts you can watch my videos peace out to everybody i'm signing out this top i really like it just by the way and my earrings too like my whole look i like it in my hair if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you for stopping by and i will see you in my next video take care and god bless bye